As I said, I am continuing from the last video. I have not erased even a single word from what we did earlier. I have broken down the video just because otherwise it would have gone too lengthy. So we just discussed the principal quantum number. We discussed the azimuthal quantum number. And now we go on to discuss the, the magnetic quantum number. Right? So, so we try to do the magnetic quantum number. What does that do? Okay? And to recapitulate, we know that that till now, that till now, the n, the principal quantum number showed us the distance. The l showed us the shape. In a short while, I'll be showing you some of the shapes okay some of the shapes let, let me kind of give that give that get that concept here so we said that they give you the shape so s okay the s here okay has a shape which looks something like that it is spherical it is spherical in shape Get that? This is the shape. So when I say 1s, it means it is spherical in shape and, and the quantum number is 1. The 2s will be the 2s will be the bigger one. So, so 2s, so this is a smaller one. 2a s will be slightly bigger sphere. Correct? Because its distance is more. Understand? P kind of looks like a dumbbell, approximately something like that. Okay. D onwards it starts getting complicated, and F is extremely complicated. How? How? I'll show you all all of them, but 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 you'll understand it better when we go to First of all, define what M does and then the spin quantum number, then the shapes of the orbitals and I'll come back to tell you how, how things go, right? So, so don't worry about that. But this is the approximate shape here. D is pretty exotic, okay? I, I, I'll, I'll not be able to draw it. I'll show you, I'll show that to you in a diagram, right? But let me first do the magnetic quantum number. The magnetic quantum number. So, so the magnetic quantum number okay. magnetic quantum number it is denoted by M. Okay, and the first thing that you should know about it is is that once you have defined the shape, it defines the orientation, right? It defines the the orientation. Of the of the subshells of the orientation of the subshell in subshell subshell is hold on, hold on. it defines the orientation right you find the orientation and, and I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you after we do this and it takes the value from minus L through 0 and goes to plus L okay starts from minus L 
goes to plus L. Okay. And each of these orientations are called an atomic orbital. Okay. Each orientation each orientation is called an atomic orbital orbital fine So now again, let us let's come back. Let's again make a make a set. Okay, so again start from n, then l, then the values of n, and and let's start. Let's start at n equal to one. What happens? L takes the value zero to zero. That means one value is here. It's, it's called what? It's called this. This is called one s, right? Now s. This goes from minus l through zero to plus l. So it starts from minus l. That means minus zero through zero to plus zero. That means it is only zero. the same thing, only zero. And let us try to understand. We had said that one s will be a sphere. Now, what kind of orientation a sphere has? Only one. You turn it any way along the coordinate axis, you'll not be able to distinguish. So, so there is only one of them possible. Now, but come to n is equal to two. What is the value? The value is zero and and one. Now, for zero, the value is zero. But for for this equal to one, there are are three values. One of them is minus one. It goes from minus one, increases increases once more and stops at so starts from minus l, goes through zero, stops at plus one. Okay. Now. Now we start at n is equal to three. Now we start at n is equal to three. Let me let me erase this. We come to n is equal to three. So n is equal to three. L is zero for zero n is one. Okay. Now I come to one. It has three values: minus one, zero, one. I come to let me raise this as well. Let me come to let me come to to two. So it goes from minus one. No, minus two. Right. It starts from minus L, so so minus two increases by one, goes to one, passes through zero, goes to plus one, goes to plus two, that is plus L, and stops. Right? So so what happens? This is this is something like that. Okay. Now let us try to understand. So, so this is what this is one s. This is one s, and there is only one one s, right? This is two two s, and only one of them. So this is two s. Now comes the real trouble. This is p. So what do I call this? 
this is oriented along say one of them is oriented along the x axis another along the y axis a dumbbell see uh, if i have this as my coordinate axis and i have a dumbbell so so i can have the dumbbell oriented like that or or oriented say, say, say this is y axis this is x axis okay and, and this is z axis another one is oriented along the y and another one is oriented along the the, the, the z okay so, so you see the x and y lie in the same plane the z is jutting out the half part is jutting out half is going in into right so so it is something like that so i call one of them as as 2p x the one that is oriented along the x axis another is termed as 2p y another is termed as 2p z now we come here so i have i have i have the the, the 3s only one then i have 3p x 3p y 3p z correct and then I have, I have 3D, okay, and, and I'll show you how they name it, but they name it XY, 3D, YZ, 3D, ZX, okay, then there is 3D, Z square, okay, this is 3D, Z square and then there is 3D D X square Y square okay X square Y square and it has got a definite connotation why it is named like that okay it is not just for the heck of it that we have named it like that I'll, 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 I'll soon show that to you and similarly when you kind of go to go to n is equal to 4 okay it will it will become 7 of them right so what happens for a given l it, whatever is the value of l you have how many magnetic tau quantum numbers m the 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 number of of magnetic quantum number is equal to what happens it is 2l plus 1 in number see if it is 1 this is 3 2l plus 1 correct if l is 2 that is 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 5 if it is so this is 2l plus 1 so, so if it is 2 there are 5 of them if there is, if there, uh, this is three, then there are seven of them. That is called f orbital, right? So, so the number of magnetic quantum numbers allowed is two l plus one. Okay. Fine. Next, we'll go to a concept that is called electron spin, and and there's a quantum number associated with that. That is called the spin quantum number, right?